Welcome to Wonderslate. Subscribe to our Telegram channel given in the description to updates and study materials. Topic for today's quiz is Kingdoms, Kings and an Early Republic. Question number 1. Small states ruled by the tribals were called Option A. Village. Option B. Mahajanapadas. Option C. Janpadas. Option D. Maharulir. The correct answer is Option C. Janpadas. The small states were ruled by tribal rulers are called Janpadas. Each Jana has its own leader. He was known by the name of Raja. The position of Raja was hereditary. He can be removed only when the situation demands. Question number 2. Large kingdoms comprise many Janpadas known as Option A. Macro Janapadas. Option B. Bada Janapadas. Option C. Multi Janpadas. Option D. Mahajanpadas. The correct answer is Option D. Mahajan Padas. A Mahajana Pada was one of the 16 kingdoms or oligarchic republics that existed in ancient India from the 6th to 4th centuries BCE. Two of them were most probably Ganas or republics and others had forms of monarchy. Ancient Buddhist texts like the Anguttara Nikaya make frequent reference to 16 great kingdoms and republics which had evolved and flourished in a belt stretching from Gandhar in the northwest to Angai in the eastern part of the Indian subcontinent and included parts of the trans Vindhyan region, prior to the rise of Buddhism in India. Question number 3. Who was the king of Magdha who ruled between 547 to 495 BC? Option A. Asoka. Option B. Bimbisara. Option C. Ajitashtaru. Option D. Nanda. The correct answer is Option B. Bimbisara. First important ruler was Bimbisara or Shrenika of Haryanaka dynasty. He was a contemporary of Buddha and patronized Buddhism. He founded the city of Rajgriha. He used both war and diplomacy for expanding the empire and conquered Anga. Question number 4. Who was son of Bimbisara? Option A. Nanda. Option B. Maurya. Option C. Ajitashtaru. Option D. Ashoka. The correct answer is. Option C. Ajatashtaru. Ajat Shatru was a king of the Haryanaka dynasty of Magdha in North India. He was the son of King Bimbisara and was a contemporary of both Mahavira and Gautama Buddha. He forcefully took over the kingdom of Magdha from his father and imprisoned him. Question number 5. Who was the founder of Nanda dynasty? Option A. Mahapadma Nanda. Option B. Mahanara Nanda. Option C. Padmananda. Option D. Mahananda. The correct answer is Option A. Mahapadmananda. Nanda dynasty, family that ruled Magdha in northern India between circa 343 and 321 BCE. The Nanda dynasty immediately preceded the dynasty of the Mauryas. And, as with all pre Maurya dynasties, what is known about it is a mixture of fact and legend. Indigenous traditions, both Brahmanical and Jain, suggest that the founder of the dynasty, Mahapadma, who was also known as Mahapadmapati, or Ugrasen, evidently had a low social origin a fact confirmed by classical scholarship. Mahapadma took over from the Shai Shunagas not only the reins of Magadhan power but also their policy of systematic. Question number 6. Underscore had a large deposits of iron ore. Option. Vajji. Option B. Magdha. Option C. Mala. Option D. Ujjaini. The correct answer is. Option B. 
Magdha. Magdha was endowed by nature with certain geographical and strategic advantages. One of them was iron ore. Its geographical and strategic position between the upper and lower part of the Gangetic Valley was a great advantage due to which it rose to imperial greatness. The iron ores in the hills near Rajgir and copper and iron deposits near Gaya added to its natural assets. Its location at the center of the highways of trade of those days contributed to its wealth. Rajagriha was the capital of Magdha. Question number 7. How much of the produce was collected as tax? Option A. One sixth part. Option B. One third part. Option C. Half part. Option D. One fifth part. The correct answer is Option A. One sixth part. Taxes were imposed on crops. This was most important since most people were farmers. The tax was fixed at one sixth of the production. This was known as bhaga or a share. There were taxes on craftsmen who paid it by providing their labor. For example, a weaver or a smith would work for a day in every month for the king. Taxes on herders were met by them by providing animals and animal produce. Taxes were imposed on goods that were brought and sold through trade. Hunters and gatherers also paid their taxes by providing the forest produce to the Raja. Question number 8. A form of government in which the power is held by the people or a group of elected person or an elected chief is called. Option A. Oligopoly. Option B. Autocratic. Option C. Republic. Option D. Military. The correct answer is. Option C. Republic. Republic is a form of government in which the country is considered a public matter, not the private concern or property of the rulers. The primary positions of power within a republic are not inherited but are attained through elections expressing the consent of the governed. Such leadership positions are therefore expected to fairly represent the citizen body. It is a form of government under which the head of state is not a monarch. In American English, the definition of a republic can also refer specifically to a government in which elected individuals represent the citizen body, known elsewhere as a representative democracy, a democratic republic and exercise power according to the rule of law, a constitutional republic. Question number 9. Who was the central figure in the Ashwamedha sacrifice? Option A. Purohit. Option B. Soldiers. Option C. Ministers. Option D. King. The correct answer is. Option D. King. The Ashwamedha is a horse sacrifice ritual followed by the Shrauta tradition of Vedic religion. It was used by ancient Indian kings to prove their imperial sovereignty. A horse accompanied by the king's warriors would be released to wander for a period of one year. Question number 10. Who cannot participate in horse sacrifice? Option A. Kshatriyas. Option B. Shudras. Option C. Vaishya. Option D. Brahmins. The correct answer is. Option B. Shudras. A horse was let loose to roam around in the surrounding areas. During the ritual. If the horse was able to pass through any Raja's territory, this meant that that particular Raja accepted the supremacy of the ambitious Raja. If someone blocked the horse's path, he had to fight with the Raja's army. The winner of that battle was to become the ultimate Raja. After the horse used to complete its round of all the territories, other Rajas were sent invitation to attend the Yagya. This used to mark the beginning of supremacy of the Raja who performed the Ashwadeda Yagya. Shudras, the Shudra Varna was at the bottom of this hierarchy. They were expected to serve the other three Varnas. Sometimes, women were also considered as Shudras. The Shudras were not allowed to perform sacrifices. They could not even attend such ceremonies. Question number 11. 
underscore means unquestioned control over an area in which the royal horse move uninterrupted. Option A. Ashwamedha. Option B. Shermedha. Option C. Shatriyas. Option D. Singhamedha. The correct answer is Option A. Ashwamedha. The Ashwamedha is a horse sacrifice ritual followed by the Shrauta tradition of Vedic religion. It was used by ancient Indian kings to prove their imperial sovereignty. A horse accompanied by the king's warriors would be released to wander for a period of one year. Question number 12. Which of the following is not a Mahajan Padas? Option A. Magdha. Option B. Inamagav. Option C. Avanti. Option D. Kamboj. The correct answer is Option B. Inamgaon. Inamgaon is a post Harappan agrarian village and archaeological site located in Maharashtra, western India. Situated along the right bank of the Aghol River, it is considered to be the regional center of the Abhima Valley. Inamgaon is one of the most intensively and extensively excavated and well reconstructed Chalcolithic sites of the Deccan region as well as of India so far. Question number 13. Who worked as a farmers in the agriculture field? Option A. Das, Brahmins, Kshatriyas. Option B. Das, Shudras, Vaishyas. Option C. Das, Landless people, women. Option D. King, Purohit, women. The correct answer is Option C. Thus, landless people, women, thus and landless people worked as laborer or farmer, in the field, as they did not have their own land. Women also worked as laborer in the field. They have a tenure to grow grains and the grains were divided between landholder and farmer. Question number 14. Spices and precious stones came to Magdha from Option A. Texila. Option B. Punjab. Option C. Ujjaini. Option D. South India. The correct answer is. Option D. South India. The kingdom of Magdha had large deposits of iron ore. They had a flourishing iron tool trade. The merchant took these instruments to South India and brought back spices and precious stones from there. Therefore trade and industry made Magadha very rich. Question number 15. The capital city of the Avadji was Option A. Ujjain Option B. Avanti Option C. Vaishali Option D. Magadha The correct answer is Option C. Vaishali Vajji or Vrijji was a confederacy of neighboring clans including the Likchavis and one of the principal Mahajana Padas of ancient India. The area they ruled constitutes the region of Mithila in northern Bihar and their capital was the city of Vaishali. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonder Slate app now. Link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.